Hello everyone. Today I would like to discuss about the normal modes of vibrations, particularly that of carbon dioxide and water, with the help of animated videos. Normally, molecules undergo two types of vibrations: that is, stretching and bending modes of vibrations. Thus, there are two kinds of fundamental vibrations: that is, stretching and bending. A stretching vibration or a stretch is a rhythmic movement along the bone axis such that the interatomic distance is increasing or decreasing. That is, during stretching, the bone distance changes. A bending vibration or a bend is one in which there occurs a change in the bone angle. That is, that is during uh, bending, bone angle changes. And the positions of the atoms change relative the original bond axis. Now let's see what is the normal modes of vibrations. The molecular vibration in which all the atoms oscillate with the same frequency and pass through their equilibrium positions simultaneously is called a normal mode. A linear molecule has three n. Minus five normal modes of vibrations, and for a non-linear molecule, there will be three n minus six modes of normal modes of vibrations, where n is the number of atoms present in the molecule. So it is obvious that uh, the atomic molecule have only one normal mode of vibration, as it is, contains only two atoms. That is, it's n equal to two. And for a polyatomic molecule having n greater than two, they can have more number of vibration, normal mode of vibration. If different normal modes of vibration for a molecule have the same frequency, they are said to be degenerate. For example, if two uh, vibrations have same frequency, they are called doubly degenerate. And if Three vibrations have same frequency, then it is called triply degenerate, etc. Now let's see the normal modes of vibrations of carbon dioxide molecule. Carbon dioxide is a linear molecule with n equal to three. Carbon dioxide is having no permanent dipole moment. We know that for a linear molecule, there will be three n minus five normal modes of vibration so for carbon dioxide having n equal to 3 there will be four normal modes of vibration they are symmetric stretching asymmetric stretching bending in plane and bending out of plane four modes of normal vibrations so first one is the symmetric stretching here during symmetric stretching there is no change in dipole moment hence this vibration is IR inactive that is that will not produce a line in the IR spectrum. Next one is the asymmetric stretching. During asymmetric stretching one bond contracts and the other bond elongates. So there is a change in dipole moment hence this vibration is IR active and gives a line at 2350 centimeter inverse. Next, the bending modes of vibrations. There are two bending modes of vibrations in plane and out of plane bending modes of vibrations. Frequency of both vibrations are same and therefore they form a degenerate pair and will therefore yield only one peak at 67 centimeter inverse. Next, let's see the normal modes of vibrations in water molecule. We know that water is a non-linear triatomic molecule with a permanent dipole moment. So it's n equal to 3 and for non-linear molecule there will be 3 n minus 6 normal modes of vibration. Therefore 3 into 3 minus 6 that is 9 minus 6 equal to 3 normal modes of vibration will be the for water molecule. They are symmetric stretching, asymmetric stretching, symmetric bending. All these vibrations involve the change in dipole moment, hence all are IR active. 
now let's see each vibrations one by one here is symmetric stretching you can see both bones contracts and relax at the same time so it is symmetric and gives a peak at 3652 cm inverse here comes the asymmetric stretching in asymmetric stretching while one bone contracts the other relaxes so it is asymmetric and cause an IR absorption at 3756 cm inverse the third vibration is the symmetric bending it is also IR active and it causes the absorption at 1596 cm inverse